let's start with metaverse, okay? Because we're reading left and right. We see all the glitzy pictures of wonderful future of our digital avatars having fun out there in the future. Thomas, do you think metaverse is already here? Yeah, the metaverse is already here for a long time. Yeah, because uh, the first time when I saw some ideas uh, uh, like similar to today, uh, description of the metaverse was the second life. And it was in 2009. And it was a pretty good simulation of the virtual world where you can connect and you can build the things, you can uh, have a job in there and so on. So that was the first discovering of the uh, kind of the metaverse for me. And it's really long time ago. So now it moved uh, very forward. And uh, I think most of the games are kind of the metaverse because you can met meet the people, you can co-work with them, even if it's just a game, but people are collaborating there. And that's what the metaverse is about, I think. Let's talk a little bit how it's going to help us to simulate everything, talking about tech and business, right, and business environment. Will it help us to be more productive soon? If not tomorrow, maybe day after, right? Will we get better communications going? We will get better way to express ourselves at work, at play, at, uh, you know, at hobbies. What do you think? I think the main point is that it can save you a time to transfer somewhere. It's like a teleportation, yeah, because you can just connect and be inside uh, of some factory. So, for example, if you're a student, you usually are excited to visit some real factory or some real business to, you know, uh, learn from it. But uh, um, it usually spend a long time before you will get there because you need to travel there. If you're young, you need to have some permit for uh, your teacher that they can take you as a class to to some uh, to visit some factory. But with the meta metaverse, you can do it immediately. And when we will connect the data from the factories and production lines into the metaverse and into simulation of these factories or 3D models of these factories and so on, the people will be able to visit it almost immediately. Yeah, especially the students. So it will save them lots of time, which they uh, can spend on, uh, on learning instead of traveling. Yeah. So that's what I think it's very important uh, point in there. Yeah, in metaverse. Fantastic. Yeah. So for training, right? For training, mm -hmm. for a retail, I would say, right? Product demos, right? Real mm -hmm. estate, you name it, right? Mm -hmm. The endless, endless applications mm -hmm. that we read about. How about a little uh, business talk over here, Thomas, about manufacturing and logistics? Because mm -hmm. uh, experts pointing out it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for Internet of Things sensors mm -hmm. to collect data from real world devices. Where do you think we're going with mm -hmm. manufacturing and logistics? Yeah, it's a big point. But at first, the industrial companies had to uh, uh, implement the ideas uh, from Industry 4.0. Yeah, because now most of them are at the start of the uh, digitalization or some digital transformation of their businesses. So they are not offering data to even themselves. Yeah, to use them in the production for feedbacks and so on. So when this will happen, it will be pretty easy to connect it uh, with the metaverse space, whatever platform you will use, because today you can use the blockchain, you can use the NFT pattern, and uh, thanks to this, you can unify the data and provide them to any parties. But uh, at first, the factories need to understand the basic concepts of the industry 4.0, how to create the unified namespace for the data, and then it will be very easy to create something like the virtual production line in the metaverse where uh, you can hire someone as a virtual maintainer because he will see the position of all things uh, on the production line, uh, the robots and pneumatic valves and so on. So if the production line is stopped, he will see the message. He can search in 3D model um, the, the whole state of production line, find the error, and then solve it because most of the time it's just about the coding something or reset something and you can do it remotely yeah but you need to see the production line so you can use the ar and put it on some hat on person who is in physical production or you can grab the data if you have a good software 
and then you can represent it on 3D model. And it will work the same for solve the, the trouble. Yeah, so that will be really, really huge yeah, for, for businesses and metaverse.